Hello there, Shelby County. This is Don Current with Shelbyville Today. Looks like a beautiful weekend ahead, uh, especially for those of you who like to golf. But we'll get into a little bit more of that here in a minute. First off, I want to talk about what's going to be happening next weekend. Um, on Friday, it's the annual Strawberry Festival, and that's put on by Shelby Senior Services as a fundraiser. And it's uh, on the circle downtown, so uh, a little before lunchtime until in the evening time, they'll be serving strawberry shortcake and other assorted things down there on the circle. And so um, everybody usually looks forward to that, so make sure you get down there for that on Friday. And then on Saturday, there's something uh, pretty special going on. It's the uh, garden show, garden tour downtown um, at some of the homes that are around the downtown area. Uh, they're going to open up their gardens for people to go and tour and view. Um, they've spent a lot of time on those, and uh, so they're opening up their homes to let people come and take a look at those. You can The tickets for that are $10.00. Now, the cool thing about it, though, is that that ticket also acts as a gift certificate to downtown businesses uh, that are participating also. So you spend your $10, you get to go on the garden tour, check out all the neat gardens and things that people have put so much time and effort into. And then you can take that ticket um, and go right downtown to some of the participating vendors and use that ticket in their uh, shop for as a $10 certificate. Uh, you can buy those tickets at the Porter Pool Center, at uh, the Farmer's Market, and then also at the Bookmark uh, Cafe and Three Sisters Books there. Um, so, all, And then in addition to that, they're kind of having a kickoff party downtown on Saturday, that Saturday the 16th as well. So not only is there the garden tour, but there's a lot of the businesses are going to have kind of things out on the sidewalk. Uh, the special deals, there's going to be a beer garden downtown. Um, there's a lot happening downtown, and it's just a real big summer kickoff. You know, the farmer's market is down there already. Uh, they're also going to do a kind of an inauguration uh, ribbon cutting for the Bower Point because they've done some things with the uh, that area to beautify it. So it's just going to be a really neat activity downtown on Saturday the 16th. So I wanted to point that out special. You can check out uh, more about their gardens, uh, get kind of a sneak peek by going to shelbyvilletoday.com, and uh, there's a video right there on the main page that kind of shows you a little bit more about that. So make sure you check that out and the Strawberry Festival on uh, that next Friday. All right, now back to this weekend. Uh, like I said, it's really a golfer's weekend, um, and actually that starts Thursday, actually. Uh, Thursday was the Chili Bowl Scramble, the ninth annual one uh, put on by the Optimist Club. Um, on Friday, the Shelby County Build Builders Association is having their annual golf outing. On Saturday, um, the fourth annual Hearts and Hands Golf uh, Scramble is going on, and that's put on um, in support of the uh, Swaziland Africa mission trip. So um, you want to get out there and support that as well. And then on Sunday is the annual 8th Annual Dare Golf Scramble benefit. And uh, all those are at Bear Chase Golf Club. So uh, if you're a golfer and uh, you want to support one or more of those organizations, be sure and get down there, uh, get out to Bear Club, and you can golf for charity and the different organizations. So make sure um, that you go to Shelbyville today, check out the calendar for more details on that. We also have uh, some movies on this weekend. Uh, of course, there's the drive-in movie, and they are showing uh, Madagascar 3 first, and then after that, they'll be showing Snow White and the Huntsman as the second feature movie, and that's all weekend starting at dusk. Also, the Parks Department is putting on their movies in the park, and uh, this this uh, week, it's The Muppets. That's the new Muppet movie that just came out um, this past uh, fall, I think it was, wintertime, somewhere in there. So that's going to be pretty neat. Uh, it's a free movie. You go to Morrison Park, and uh, they'll have a screen set up there. They're also going to have some concessions and things you want if you want to buy that for your family. But, you know, the movie itself is free, so just bring the family on out there. It should be a good evening for that. And enjoy a movie put on by the Parks Department. Um, on Saturday, My Boar is having their annual garage sale, and that's going to be out at the... 
uh, fairgrounds, actually, in uh, the Brinson building. Also at the fairgrounds on Saturday and Sunday is the 28th Annual Blue River Valley Antique Power Association. Uh, so that's pretty neat. You can see a lot of that old equipment running. Uh, check out some old tractors and engines and things like that. So um, we really need to support the fairgrounds, especially right now as well. Uh, kind of get them encouraged and uh, hopefully we'll get a new grandstand built. Uh, that's uh, never going to be able to replace the, the 100 year plus year old one. But um, we do want to come up, get something nice out there. And we just need to get out there and kind of do a show of support. So if you can make it out there to check that out, uh, please get out there this weekend and check out the garage sale and the uh, Blue River Valley, Valley uh, Antique Power Show. Uh, the Farmer's Market, of course, is on Saturday from 8 to noon on The Circle. And uh, we've got a couple of uh, song and dance numbers on Saturday. From 2 to 4, the um, Miss Jill's Dance Academy is actually doing So You Think You Can Dance Shelbyville. And this is kind of a fundraiser as well. They're trying to raise some funds for their new building. What they're doing is they're moving into the old Western supermarket, and they want to raise some funds for that. And so they're having this So You Think You Can Dance competition. I believe it's free for attendees. There is a charge for those wanting to participate, either solo or as a group. Um, and then they're going to have penny auctions to determine the winner of the competition. So get out there and support them. I think that's a great use of that building. It's nice to see something as, as valuable as that. You know, Miss Jill's does a lot um, with the dancers. There's a lot of people from around town that have their kids or themselves involved in it. Um, so I'm glad to see a good use like that coming of it. Let's get out there and help support that and uh, get them off to a good start in their new facility. The uh, song part of the song and dance is the Shelby Idol Round 1. That's going to be Saturday evening at the Strand at uh, 7 o'clock. Tickets are $3 for that. I believe they're sold out at the Strand. Um, but Mickey's Team Art had some last I knew. Um, and some of the... Con um, Families of the contestants also have tickets. Uh, should be an exciting year. We went out on Thursday night. They had kind of a group competition where they'd taken some of the singers um, and put them into different groups. And they, they did some um, numbers from like the 60s. Um, and then it was a penny auction for that as well to vote for the best group. Um, that was a free event. So that was pretty neat. Got to see some of the, the who's, participants who's singing this year but the first round is on saturday and then there will be additional rounds on saturday the 16th and saturday the 30th as well so uh, we can look forward to that okay on sunday we actually have a bike ride going on it's the june bug jamboree bike ride and uh, this is going to be taking place starting out at the high school you can start anytime between 8 and 10 o'clock and uh, you have to be done, though, by 4 o'clock. That's kind of when the course shuts down. They've got several different lengths of rides that you can do. Um, it is geared for uh, families, so uh, if you've got some of your younger kids who are good at bike riding, they can participate as well. Um, and they would do have to have their parents or guardians with them, though, in order to participate. 16- and 17-year-olds can participate without their parents, but they have to have their parent release on that. So... Um, they will have lunch provided by Applebee's during the uh, time frame, and uh, you can, if you pre-register, that, that's included, um, and on-site registrants for an extra $4, you can get that as well. So, um, kind of neat to, to see some bike riding events now. We've had quite a few running events, 5Ks and such. Uh, now we've got a nice bike ride on Sunday called the Junebug Jamboree. So, get out there and support that, and... Uh, get some good exercise, enjoy uh, some time with the family, uh, riding a bike. Um, and as I said, also, we have the D.A.R.E. Um, 8th Annual Golf Scramble, and the drive-in movie will be that night as well. So that's what we have for this weekend. I hope you're enjoying the, the beautiful weather we're having, and I hope you have a good week coming up. And uh, make sure you plan for that uh, the 16th to be downtown with your family. going to be lots going on downtown, special. A lot of the different businesses are having special little activities, special sales, just lots of different stuff. Just a real good summer block party um, downtown Shelbyville. So get out there and support that and buy your tickets for the garden tour and uh, check that out as well. Hope you have a great week and we will talk to you again soon. Thanks.